Hi, my name is Christy Cool, and I am a zookeeper here at John Ball Zoo. Um, and I actually work with the penguins a lot of the time and in the aquarium mostly. Uh, what I, who I brought with me today is Chester and Agnes are penguins. And they are called Magellanic penguins. They are from South America, and so they're actually warm weather. Most people think that they are all cold weather, but the majority of species tend to be warm weather and closer to the equator. <laughs> Right, this is Agnes. This is one of our youngest penguins. She's only about four years old. She was actually born here at the zoo in 2017. She has this cool little fluff on the top of her head which makes it easy to identify her. And it's just a little cyst that's underneath her feathers and it makes her feathers stick up like a mohawk. So when you guys are here at the zoo, you'll be able to easily identify her. And if you take a look, if she comes around, nope. If you take a look, they have those nice white bellies and the black backs and that is what we call counter shading. And the counter shading is to help them survive out in the wild. So if they are swimming in the ocean, that white belly will actually, when something's below them looking up, that white belly will blend in with the sky. Or if something's looking down on penguins, that black back will blend in with the ocean floor. That way it helps keep them protected and away from those predators that might eat them. <laughs> so some of the things I have with me today is what we call enrichment or toys. Um, a lot of these you guys might be familiar with for those who have families at home. We have little baby books and dog balls and things like that. And these are some of the fun things that we give our penguins uh, to keep them entertained out on their exhibit and in their home. So one of the things that I do here as part of my job with taking care of the penguins is actually going out into their exhibit and cleaning it. Every other day we'll go out and hose off all that extra poop that they uh, give to us every day. And then we also do scuba diving in their tanks every couple weeks and clean up any leftover fish or any sort of gunk that might be in the bottom of the tank. We also have a very large filtration system because with 25 birds they do poop a lot, about every 20 minutes or so. Um, that's a lot of poop that ends up in our, in our water system. So we have a giant filtration system that will clean that all out for us as well. And one of the things I have with me right here is not a real penguin egg. This is actually the size of a penguin egg, but it is an Easter egg that's filled with sand. And it's about the same weight as a, baby, uh, as a penguin egg when it is uh, laid by the parents. And come breeding season, you will see these out on exhibit. And we will actually replace their real egg with these dummy eggs so that we can incubate them ourselves. And that way we can ensure that the incubation is going well and that the eggs are fertile and when they are getting close to hatching we will actually bring them back out on the exhibit and give them back to the parents and let the parents have a chance to raise them. What are you doing with my foot? So one of the things that you will notice on our penguins is that they have identifying bands. For a lot of people coming to the zoo, you may not be able to tell all of them apart. They do look very similar. So we do have colored bands on one side and then they even have their name band on the other. So if you're ever looking for a certain penguin, if you notice the yellow is actually for female and the white is for males. And then those colored identifying bands is actually more for the keepers because we can tell all of those colored bands apart when they're swimming through the water very quickly. Come summertime, you may see our penguins look a little disheveled out on exhibit. They go through something called molting. It's when they lose all of their feathers and they get their new feathers in. So most birds will actually go through molting where they lose just one feather at a time or a couple so that they can keep flying. But penguins actually do it very differently and they go through the molt all at one time and they kind of puff up like a giant pillow and they lose all of those feathers and then they get new ones in. The whole process takes about two weeks time and then at that time, they'll have a shiny new tuxedo ready to go in the water and be waterproof. Thank you guys all for tuning in and watching today. And thanks for learning about our Magellanic penguins. We hope to see you guys when we open in the spring.